In this first tutorial, we'll show you a little bit about how to use projections and coordinate systems to display the data in ArcGIS. As you can see here, I have a map of uh, the United States. There's actually two layers here, it's just depending on what scale you're viewing the map at. Now I can go into Layer, right click, and go to Properties. And this will show me, typically this will come up with the coordinate system. On the coordinate system tab, you can see what the current coordinate system here is. So the current coordinate system is given, as well as all the details defined here. Now, these are based on, initially here, the two layers that I have embedded in here. They are both under the same coordinate system. So those, if you want to know which of the different layers you have are based on, you can just click on the layers and it will show you. Now there's a whole selection that you can uh, select from and there's two different types. There's a geographic coordinate system and a projected coordinate system. The current one that we have is a geographic coordinate system and the, this, uh, the thing that I'd like to note about that is when you're in a geographic coordinate system like we are now, geographic coordinate system here, and then we'll go to general, you'll see that this is in, uh, the map is in decimal degrees. You can display the units in any way you would like. However, the map is, um, the, the base reference unit is in decimal degrees, and that's specific for the geographic coordinate system. So if I were to go in and uh, <coughs> change this to a projected coordinate system, we can go into world, and you will notice that this is, um, it's based on the world WGS 1984 version, so we can use this one. This one is one you're com uh, familiar with, and we can hit OK. And this actually changes the view of it, so you can see that this is more the typical view that we see of the United States, and this is just based on the on the uh, projection. Now, if I go back into layers and I go to properties, now if we go to general, you can see that now the map is in meters. So again, um, the coordinate system that I'm in is now a projected coordinate system. So I use a projected projected coordinate system rather than a geographic coordinate system. Hence, that we are now in meters. <coughs> I can display it in decimal degrees, but the base unit is now in meters. And this is important when you're importing data in and out, uh, in, in and out of uh, ArcGIS. So, those are the two uh, systems that I that we have. The, again, the geographic coordinate system and the projected coordinate system. Um, I do want to note that if I go back to uh, geographic coordinate system and I went to the North Amer North America NAD 1983 and I hit OK, what you're going to find is there's a warning. So anytime that you're transitioning between um, actually a coordinate system that is not, uh, <clears throat> that differs from the, the map source, so my two maps here are for the WGS, and so this is showing that, that is, uh, there's a conflict there. So anytime you're transferring and, and it won't allow that, that system, you will get this warning. So if you click this Yes button here, um, you are basically in danger of having invalid data. So be careful which one you use. Uh, use there. <clears throat>